Hi guys, welcome to this very special NXT uh, review and predictions video. Decided to put them both together as uh, it's quite a busy weekend of wrestling coming up. Uh, so that we've no AEW either. Just decided that it'd be best to do like a, a mixed video in this one. Uh, also doing tomorrow. Uh, a Thunderdome Smackdown special uh, where I give my thoughts on what that episode looks like. So yeah, let's get into the review slash predictions video. Uh, yeah, NXT, it started off with Johnny Gagano versus Ridge Holland. Uh, really good match. Uh, one incident in this match saw Ridge Holland kind of dump uh, Johnny Gagano on his head. You know, it looked seriously bad. A uh, very uh, scary moment when we thought that Johnny Gagano might not get back up. Uh, but he soldiered on. He carried on. Uh, and obviously, got a jar neck or, or something to that effect. But it didn't stop him from completing this match, which he went on to win. And has now taken his place in the triple uh, in the ladder match at Takeover. Later on in the card, also the last match on this show was uh, Dream versus Balor. I'm going to cover it now because I want to go into the predictions. Uh, yeah, Dream beat Balor in this matchup. Uh, yeah, but it, there was just so much going off. Grimes sat on a ladder. Uh, Bronson Reed coming down to ring Priest being at ringside yeah it became chaos uh, eventually Balor ended up outside the ring where he was attacked by Thatcher uh, yeah so uh, Dream eventually gets the win and goes into the ladder match so the ladder match at TakeOver 30 is going to be Gagano Dream, Grimes Reed's and Damian Priest. Uh, I've got Bronson Reed to actually win this match. He's an up and coming talent. It's either him or Priest. I can't see Grimes getting that push yet. I, I'm just not keen on his character, to, if I'm perfectly honest. Dream and Gagano have won this title before. So, what's the point? I think they're just in there to add a bit of spice. Maybe a feud will come for them too out of this matchup but yeah no i think bronson reed he end, ended this particular show with the title above his head i think this is kind of like a spoiler it, it, as you will because i think they might give him the title uh yeah so my prediction for this match at takeover is bronson reed for the win uh moving on to another part we saw dakota kai uh, come down to the ring uh, like an open challenge if you will uh, yeah uh, this brought out Jessica Camille. Uh yeah she, uh, Dakota Kai disposed of her pretty quickly then cut a promo against Dio Sarai getting her to come out to the ring as she comes out ho and behold it's a shock attack from Raquel Gonzalez uh yeah, I'm not. I, I love this moment on the show, but it actually changed my prediction. Uh, I did actually think Dakota Kai was going to win the NXT female title, but sadly now that the haste in the hole has been revealed, this the odds now are stacked so heavily against Hio Sarai that I think she's got to win. I think she's going to retain can't see them doing this and then letting Dakota Kai win it's now if this would have been revealed on the pay-per-view itself and Ra Raquel Gonzalez had come out of nowhere in that match yeah I would have gone definitely Dakota Kai but no I think he actually retains uh yeah we... that, that's just how I feel uh, moving on to a uh, six-man tag, which saw Legado de Fantasma 
take on Breezango and Isaiah Swerve Scott. Yeah, I think I said his name right this time. Uh, yeah, they had a fairly decent battle. Phantasma won this match. Uh, yeah, it is going to lead to Breezango and Legaro Van Del Tasma being in a tag team match at TakeOver 30 with uh, Birch and Ollie, Ollie Lorcan put into this matchup. Yeah, I actually think Breezango was going to win that triple threat tag match and become number one contenders. Legaro Del Tasma should win because they are the better team, but can't see them putting eel team against an eel team it doesn't make much sense to me so yeah that's the reason why i am picking breeze and go for the win there uh moving on we had a great segment uh probably better than i thought it would going to be and that was pat mcavey and his posse coming to the ringside to me with uh the undisputed era uh, yeah, the actual promo Pat actually delivers was quite breathtaking. Really impressed with the delivery. Can he deliver in the ring after two weeks supposed training? Well, probably not. But this was a really good segment and really good way of hyping up their matchup at TakeOver. The prediction wise, Adam Cole for the win, easily. Uh, I can't see them giving a win to uh, an ex-American footballer, I don't see the point. It, it kind of really diminishes uh, you as a wrestler or a wrestling promotion if you're letting others come into your promotion and win your top stars. I c this should be a squash match. This should... If they, they'll let Pat McAvee have defect, uh, offense, definitely he'll get some moves in, probably have the upper hand at some point in this match but now ultimately Adam Cole for the win Bay Bay yes definitely got to got to be in uh, we move on then to uh, a tag team match Shotzi Blackheart Rhea Ripley versus uh, Mercedes Martinez and Aliyah uh, this would, was only going to go one way uh, yeah, Shotzi and Ripley won. Uh, Ripley delivered a devastating move. She lifted up Ma uh, Mercedes Martinez and placed her over the uh, barricade, which seemed to be on a concrete floor. I cleverly edited, because it probably would have crashed my behind behind back of there, but trade secrets, you see. Uh, yeah, we do have a shot then of Mer Mercedes Martinez laid out on the floor uh yeah this this was to be basically a squash match uh shot c blackout and rhea ripley look really good in this as well and uh, look like a good team going forward uh yeah so uh matches that i've missed out was the promo of uh, well it's not a match but the promo on the show was uh, of keith lee and cross building up their match at nxt takeover yeah, this is going to be a all-out brawl. I, I don't know where the thinking is for this one, to be honest. Uh, Karrion Cross is on an undefeated streak. It'd be a shame for him to lose that kind of momentum. But then Keith Lee's not been champion for that long. So uh, I don't know where I'm fixed with this result. I do think Keith Lee retains. Whether it's a clean victory or DQ or count out, I don't know. Uh, I just think he walked away from this with still the title in his hand. Yeah, Karrion Cross is going to come across strong in this match no matter what. Just, I'm not ready to see him as champion yet. and He needs more matches, he needs more time. Uh, so Keith Lee, for me, retains. Uh, another match what we had had on the night was after the uh, involvement of Timothy Thatcher uh, attacking Finn Balor this match has also been added to take over uh, nothing but a Balor win I think this is going to be one of them matches what's either 
uh, opening the show or on the pre-show uh, yeah this would just shoe on in it's good to have Balor on the pay-per-view he always gets people to watch so yeah I'll put Balor to win that one so this has been my review of NXT which gets a rating of 7 yeah uh, I wasn't blown away by anything I saw on the night uh, pretty pretty decent show just nothing exciting uh, pretty standard go home show uh, predictions wise I'll just run through them again I've got Re Bronson Reed for the ladder match and become North American champion Io Sarai retains her title I've got Adam Cole to beat Pat McAvee Keith Lee to retain against Karrion Cross, whether it be count out DQ I don't think it's going to be a clean win uh, Balor to beat Thatcher and Breeze Angle to win the triple threat tag team match. So, yep, yeah, I've been Dave in real life. You've been awesome. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I want to hear your thoughts uh, on your predictions for NXT TakeOver. Until the next time. Oh, keep it real as well, folks. Remember to always keep it real. Until the next time, bye for now.